Hello and welcome to Post to Post, the channel where we discuss all things hockey and all teams. Prediction time. Finally. I've been waiting all summer to do this. <laughs> and I think uh, I think a lot of people thought that we might, we might do this a little sooner rather than later. But uh, I wanted to wait until just a couple days before the season started to give myself a, enough information over the summer, enough like there's some, cause we just saw some trades recently. So yeah, just uh, things have been happening. Yeah, and and even injuries and things have been happening Absolutely. up until and and may still happen between now and the time that you see this, or yeah. the, the time that the season starts. So I wanted to give myself enough time to make yeah. a decision. And uh, last year we did a video similar to this, and uh, you have to talk about that. We <laughs> really, I mean, honestly, we don't make these predictions thinking we're going to be right. We just do it for fun. It's thank God it's fun. It's fun, it's fun because it's nothing else. Yeah. It's certainly not accurate. And but it is fun. So and on your side of things, you put a lot of effort into your predictions last year, and they didn't really pan out. So yeah. you took the opposite approach this year. And just I put a lot of, less effort into just it. Just going with your gut, basically. Going with my gut. I have a few little things that may happen in my mind that, you know, surprises I'll be watching for. Hmm. But, yeah, I have a pretty good idea where I think the teams are going to finish, more or less. But, yeah, I didn't sit there and do all kinds of uh, coursey stats on all these teams or anything <laughs> like that. The heck with that. That's okay. Yeah. So we're going I don't know your predictions, you don't know mine. I don't. We're gonna start with the Metropolitan Division. All right. And each division will have its own video and um should be pretty quick. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on the teams, just a very quick prediction video. All right. And then after the four divisions, we're gonna do our playoff trees based on uh, our alignments we are. at the end of the season. So okay. Uh, actually, would you mind going first? Not at all. Okay. Not at all. Okay. Hit me with it. Uh, for the Metropolitan Division, I think, although the team's a bit older this year, uh, they're still young enough to be a top contender for the entire division. So I'm going to pick the Pittsburgh Penguins to finish in first place okay. in the division. Second is a bit of a toss-up, I think. Uh, I'm going to pick the Washington Capitals uh, to finish second. I think they'll be maybe five or so points behind Pittsburgh. But they're going to be, obviously, as the defending champions, they have a lot to play for. They want to repeat, just like the Penguins repeated a couple of years ago. Although, I think on the other side of the coin, there might be a bit less pressure on them now, because they have won the Cup. I think you're right, actually. Hmm. Um, are you predicting point totals? I, yeah, I have some written down. I want to hear them. Okay. Pittsburgh, I have them around 104 points. Okay. Washington, I have around between... 99 and, and 100. So right around, let's say, let's say 99. All right. Um, now, the Philadelphia Flyers, I think, are are a powerful team, especially up front. Powerful. And uh, there's some question marks in defense, question marks in net, but I think they're going to fill the other team's net frequently and probably get their own filled frequently, kind of like the playoffs <laughs> last year. So you, think have, you have them in third? I have them in third. I have them in third, um, finishing with around 96 points, let's say. After that, I think Columbus uh, finishes almost in a tie with them, really. I think it's really a toss-up between Columbus and, and, and Philly for that third spot. But I think Columbus will end up, you know, we'll, we'll get to the playoff video later, but I think Columbus will be in the playoffs out of a wild-card slot, but I think they're going to finish fourth in the Metro. Okay. After that, things kind of fall off. Uh, I think the Devils are a much better team on paper this last couple of years than they were for years prior to that. I think they will uh, do well. I think they will be a, a contender. We'll be wondering about the Devils until maybe a week before the end of the regular season, but I think they'll fall short of the playoffs. I year. have the same opinion as far as like waiting for that last week to see if they make it or not. Yeah, okay. And then Carolina. Carolina's had some subtractions in the last year. They've got made some changes. I think it'll take them a while to settle in, but they've lost guys like Skinner. Uh, so I think that mm. that's a, a net. I think overall, with with all the changes that they have made, <clears throat> it's it's a net reduction in in talent overall. They'll they'll still play some darn good games and they'll be competitive in probably most of the games that they play. But I think they'll fall in the mid eighties in the point range. So let's say eighty five okay. for Carolina. Um, the Islanders missing Tavares, I think, will be a big hole, and no Halak, no Tavares. So I think it's going to be really hard for the Islanders to be a contender this year. Although, they have uh, they have some really great young talent. They do that may surprise everybody, and I hope I hope it works out. For and them. here's the thing with these all these prediction videos: one of these teams that we have seated low, whether it's in the Metro, the Atlantic, or the Pacific, whatever, yeah. one of these teams 
is going to go from the bottom to the top. It happens every year. Mm -hmm. We saw it with Nashville. We saw it with with Colorado. Colorado. Uh, just like it's going to happen. We just don't know what team yep. it is, and, it's, and you can't predict it. So yeah, that's right. So it's uh, part of the game. So you have the Islanders seventh. And obviously that and leaves the, the Rangers, Rangers eighth. What do you have for points for those two? Uh, for the Islanders, I have 83 points. And for the Rangers, I have 75. And I think the 75 is actually a little generous. All right. The Rangers have announced a rebuild. They did it early calendar year, late in the regular season last year. They they made no bones about it. We're going to be shipping you know players away. We're going to try to get some assets and we're going to rebuild. Hmm. And I think the Rangers fans know that ahead of time. I think the pressure is going to be off. They'll probably have some fun playing because I don't think anyone expects them to do well. And I don't think they will. Hmm. <laughs> so I think they'll be last All right. in the Metro. Sounds That's good. my prediction. We agree on some things. We disagree on some things. Do we? Well. Yes. We well, do. you obviously didn't do enough research. So. <laughs> I have... I uh, don't think we agreed on actually any position other than one of them. Go away. I think, yeah. Yeah, it's only one of them that we had the same. So I have Washington first. I had them at 103 points. I thought you put the Pittsburgh hat on. You were going to be Pittsburgh first. Well, this but is, you didn't, did this you? is kind of a secret to the, uh, the, okay. the playoff. So you have Washington with 103? I have Washington with 103. Okay. I, I have Pittsburgh next with 101. I okay. feel good about Pittsburgh. Yeah. They, they got a little bit more rest than they usually get in the past three years. That's right. Yeah. I, so I feel pretty good about them. That's true. In third, I have Columbus okay. with 99 points. Mm -hmm. um, fourth, I have New Jersey with 98. Oh. I think they're going to do as good as they did last year and potentially make the playoffs. I have Philadelphia next with 97. Ooh. I think that hard um, for the Atlantic to get a wild card out of that. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be close. Yeah, right on. Okay. Uh, Carolina, I have next with ninety seven. Kind of what you said. They had some changes. Mm -hmm. uh, if it it, it it all comes down to goaltending in Carolina. Yeah. Like, if the goalies play well, they could probably make the playoffs. If they and I mean you can say that for any team, but in Carolina it's it's it's, it's especially it's particularly, especially particularly yeah, yeah, yeah so. in, in important there. Yeah, so I had them with ninety seven. So I actually had them tied with Philadelphia, but I'm gonna seat them lower. Wow. Then. Okay. So uh, next I have the Rangers with eighty three. Ooh. I think even though they're going through a rebuild stage, they still have Lundquist, they still have some very promising players. Um I think they're still gonna win some a decent a decent amount of games. Yeah. They're not gonna be a, a terribly bottom dweller team. And the Islanders I have next with seventy one with a pretty substantial <sighs> oh, fall down. My goodness. Yeah. Ouch. I know. And I like the Islanders, so I'm trying not to be biased and no, put know. them up there, but uh, I don't feel that great about them. So yeah. I have Washington, Pittsburgh, Columbus, New Jersey, Philadelphia, Carolina, Rangers, and the Islanders. And the only one we agreed on was Carolina at sixth. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now, I, like I said, I don't expect to get any of these right. Yeah, in really. fact, in the last year's video, prediction video, as far as numbers go, I only got one team, and that was the Kings. I think I predicted them having 98 points, and they got 98 points. I only got one of the 31 teams right. So it's just fun, right? So, yeah. And I hope you guys make predictions at home as well. And feel free to do it in the comments. And if you do the, if you do prediction videos... Don't edit. Or if you do a prediction comment <laughs> down below uh, for, the, uh, for the Metro Division, do not edit it afterwards. Because <laughs> yeah. if you edit it, then it, it'll look like you went back a year from now and then edit it so you're all right and stuff. So when you make your comment, make sure you get it right the first time and then submit it and don't edit it. Yeah. If you make a mistake, delete it and just make a new comment. Yeah, if you decide to edit, your prediction will be voided exactly. for the purposes of winning the fantastic prizes in our contest. Mm. Oh, no, there is no contest. No contest. Oh, but I, in a year from now, I will do a recap video of every single division and if anyone in the comments gets it right any predictions are right or very close yeah uh, I'll, I'll shout them out and i'll show their comment and stuff cool so get some bragging rights so right on. have some fun with us there so we've con concluded the metro division we're gonna do the atlantic next these videos will come out in pretty quick succession yeah so you might see them all within two days and then our playoff tree prediction video will come out and uh, you'll get to know our Cup, a cup predictions are final. Who's going to win the Stanley Cup? That's our. You'll find that out very soon. So, um, I hope you guys are excited for the season. I'm very excited for the season. And um, yeah, have some fun with us and make some predictions. Thank you for watching this video. I appreciate it. I hope you can hit the subscribe button to see our other division prediction videos and the playoff ones. That would be awesome. And I'll see you in those. Adios.